It's the old Doctor Who show, num- episode number 162, season one recap. <laughs> Dan's back. How you doing? I'm sorry. I'm a little rusty on how we do these intros because I was yeah, gone for I just two do, weeks. I, I record that first part, and that's just the part before the swish in. And then, we do, then we do the uh, welcome back to the old Doctor Who show, which you can do right now. Hey. Welcome us back. Long time uh, participant, first time viewer. I uh, got to watch your your solo episodes there, Eric, and they were fantastic. Dan, uh, Dan viewers, was listeners, gone. If you haven't seen or listened to them, I highly recommend watching them on YouTube on two x speed. If you want to see Eric's slow decline into madness, um, it's much more entertaining at two x. Yeah, Dan, um, you were gone. You were gone for. Uh... Basically, we decided to bring the show back. Uh, we, we, for, we did, yes. For Russell season D. Davies one, decided and to at the make end us of this uh, mystery, this uh, magician Russell T. Davies moving the chess pieces around, <laughs> and finally for the revelation, Dan's like, "I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I've seen all I need to see." <laughs> so every everybody knows what I've every... right? Yeah, yeah. We we, we haven't talked. No, we've been. There was before uh, Sutek reveal and after Sutek reveal, and we didn't even know about Sutek. We sure so, didn't. Do you want to tell us, tell the listeners, and tell really me because we haven't talked? Yeah, I'm not, not really. To I have an idea I'm, of what you thought. I'm talking to you, man. But what did you think of Legend of Ruby Sunday? Oh, yeah. Do you want to do them together? You want to separate them? No, you tell me. I want to separate them because okay. Legend of Ruby why, Sunday. Then why ruin a good episode with a bad episode? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I think I'm, I'm pretty much 100% the same as uh, as your take on this. Mm-hmm. Um, Legend of Ruby Sunday, what a fun episode. It was it was great. It was goofy. It was a little silly. Um, I do like, you know, the, the Doctor landing right into, into Unit and the reunions with everyone. I'm very excited. The whole thing with the anagrams was a little... It's a little corny. It was a little corny. When he like points the Sonic at the screen and it causes the letters to animate across, it's like, but yeah. it was hilarious. Like I really liked the fact they're like, yeah, we know it's Tardis. Like we got that dummy. Well, they um, were like, you idiot. Like, funny. right? They're like, you idiot. Of course it's Tardis, but they didn't realize uh, what was uh, H. Arbinger was the woman. <laughs> the woman they had been working with. Harriet. They the only it's just Harriet. <laughs> And they've already they did that gag already in Maestro, right? Or uh, the uh, Maestro episode. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that was that was fun. I liked all the the additional characters you had mentioned. You liked the thirteen year old genius. He's great. I loved him. I, I thought he was I great. Just, I just saw him in another show. Um, if you're watching this on Disney Plus, it'll probably get recommended to you as well. Uh, I forget the name of it. Uh, it's kind of a, a fantasy thing that takes place in the 1800s. She's a, a highway robber. She's a, one of the one of the actresses from uh, Dairy Girls. Um, she's okay. fantastic and it's really good. But he's in that as well. So it's like, wait, have we already seen this character before? It's like, no. I, anyway, no one needs to know that that I was just telling you. Anyway, he's great. Good little side character. Um, I'm just going to basically repeat everything you said. Uh, overall it was just it was really fun and it kept building um all the suspense you get uh mrs flood coming in and she does the whole thing of the evil turn the the kind of like yeah. sweet to the face to carla's face and then as soon as the door closes she turns into like nurse nurse ratchet i don't i was so confused what was happening in legend of ruby sunday and then i'm confused in a different way okay with the the final scene of empire Records. yeah it's very hard um, to talk about Legend of Ruby Sunday now, because sure every buddy. part you're like, oh yeah, but this was building, and did this mean? It's like no, didn't mean no. anything. It didn't mean anything. But yeah, I mean, it, okay, you know what? So I what, don't need to go through the whole thing. I, I'll, I'll just say, Legend of Ruby Sunday, great. It took all the things, all the little clues that were being dropped throughout the the previous, uh, the rest of the season, and was adding on to them and and building up to something. It felt like really big, only to be completely negated deflated disregarded ruined oh in ruined absolutely ruined i think in um empire of death uh nothing meant anything at all ruby is not anything special in fact that was the whole point is that she's ordinary and yet she makes it snow for no good reason she Her does mom and i doesn't s- appear on the videotape yeah. like 
even even in the time window, which was the the phrase that you couldn't remember when you're doing your review. Um, yeah, time, was it, it, time was on you, and my brain completely. Time was, on, it was probably. I, that should, was the best I should one. run for president. <laughs> Don't make me cry. Um, so there was that. Like, so why couldn't she be seen on the tape? Why? Why was her face always obscured? Why did she like zoom ahead? And she, like she was just a woman, and that's what made her so special. She is ordinary, and we invested her with all this. It was absolutely who invested baloney. her in all this? Like who invested all of this? The audience, right? Watching it I, somehow fed into the show and made Sutek realize I, she was important at the moment that Sutek saw her in the past because he was been, and that's a whole other thing. Sutek on the on the TARDIS the entire time, yeah, but. It's. I actually love that. I, 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 I don't the, know. Sutek, the Sutek I, I, you, you go because awesome. I'll just I'll just start. start you just go back in the same. You go back. To the I don't want to go uh, back into the same mode and, and nitpick it. But no, no. I mean, it's it's worth picking those nits. What because... about likes? What did you like okay. about it? Because I maybe okay. you'll bring me over to the like side of the force. Well, I mean, everything about. I, I liked much more of Legend of Ruby Sunday. Uh, I watched it twice. I was really into it. I liked, you know. Uh, when Mrs. Flood enters, like there's even small things throughout there. And now I don't know if they matter at all, but like Mrs. Flood enters into Carla's apartment. But right before she does, we have like a little digital radio uh, playing the BBC and like it starts staticking out and freaking out um, during the recording. It's just like there for three seconds or so. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like, so there's something going on with her and, and she, well, she I the think, oncoming storm. I know. She's, you have she's, to I was going to say she is 100% a time lord. I don't well, know. Well, I, I, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say 100% anymore. Because yeah, no, not if anything, we've proven that, like, the rug they'll just add stuff in there that you think means something. But, but but it's like a previous scene is the doctor explaining regenerations to Ruby yes. and what they mean. And why would a Time Lord do that? Oh, to protect their health. Or when they want to go into hiding, cue Mrs. Flood coming in. I've been yes. hiding out in my room. She well, says, she says, yeah. She repeats I'll, I'll the exact help. phrase. I'm she's always already hiding myself the away. So it seems like, okay, she's sure. a she's a time lord. But then like as when we get into Empire Records, it's yep. like obvious that like it doesn't mean anything. If there if if there's a clue, it doesn't mean it has a, it it may just be there just to encourage engagement with I don't know. I don't man, know why. Man, when you were talking stuff. about Empire of Death and and you you're at the end and you're just like Mavity. <laughs> like that sums it up. Like that absolutely sums it up because why did he? That dogs it, that's they they've been dying to. They're done. To, to, they're, to hold no. me to task on my mavity nonsense. Your dog is completely right. Why did why did they bother doing it and calling it back several times for no reason? And that is the same thing with everything else that happened in this story. Like. It just had no meaning. It didn't have the stakes. All got reversed. Like so, okay. So there's, there's the other thing with the plot. So. Um, Empire Death. We have uh, the servants of Sutek, and they they've got the sands mm -hmm. and their their your dust or whatever it is, and like it's the gift of death, and and that was actually kind of fun. The whole thing, you know, setting up the obvious like Mel is not what she seems, but you don't know exactly what's going on. Um, that was fun because you can kind of see it coming and building, and then you know the Doctor kind of figured it out and played into that, and that was that was cool. So there were some fun things there. Honestly, everything up until. The, well, you're also right about the Sonic turning a TV into an iPad. Like, I don't know what was going on there, and that was just absolutely silly. And they go into the future, and he just connects it to another port. Like, it's, it's and it all, works. I think, it just automatically it's, works. It's, like, well, I, my, mom, lasts yeah, my mom just got a new MacBook, and it took me like an hour to find the matching dongles to connect yeah. an Ethernet from a computer of five years ago with one that was from three years ago. They and yet he's just like popping it in on the 23 and me to get the DNA uh, test. And yeah, the yeah, DNA yeah. test is a whole other thing. Like they're not testing for the father. The father also never had a DNA test. And it's just they have the powers of unit behind it. And they can't locate. They're only looking for one parent. There's two parents. Right. Start with right. the other one. And, the parents and, never left the house, so they've been in the same. They've been getting mail at the same address for a long time. And what is it about the mother not ever having a blood test? Like that has nothing to like. Of course she would have. It's not like she was hiding. Once they get the blood, the the DNA thing, it's like, well, here's her Instagram feed and well, here's everything about here's, her. It's here's like, the thing. It it, it yeah. makes no sense. Like she would have been a record someplace. That uh, do okay, you sorry. think? Go ahead. And I don't like to do this because it's. But you're going to you do it just anyway. judge it based on the merit of the story but okay. do you think 
that Russell T. Davies knew she was going to be nobody the entire time? Or was he building up a mystery and saying, I'll figure it out later, I'll figure it out later. And then when later came, he goes, oh, this is a cool idea. I saw The Last Jedi. And we'll just make... <laughs> that was the worst because, part. Because like, nothing like building too. up to it really suggested that. Because nothing. it's like you, you enter into an agreement with a creator mm -hmm. that like... Okay, I'll go with this, but there will be a payoff that will then I'll trust you going forward. Right. And, and now it's like what I mentioned the thing about like, is she a time lord? Normally I would say yes because this clue, but now it's like you can't trust any clues. And so why right. should you? Why should you try? Absolutely at all. Like, and why I, didn't I totally... they look for David Tennant? Why yeah, didn't they no. even that, mention David? Like Rose is sitting there for some reason. She's in the last episode. I don't think she has. She has like two or three lines. She has nothing to do. In you it. don't want to yeah. just say, maybe we should use the other TARDIS because he has a TARDIS. Right. David Tennant. Right. They split yeah. the TARDIS. Yeah. And I got it. Uh, someone had commented on our on the YouTube review was like, did Sutek get split in half when they split the TARDIS in half? And it was like, oh, oh, that's so funny. So it was like, you know, great, honestly, great. Who, does maybe. it matter? Yes, maybe. That's a great question. Because at one well, point there was three TARDISes. Including to the your, memory to your, TARDIS. Your original question of like, do we think that he knew what he wanted to do and had it all planned out? Like, I would have to assume at the beginning, he is the showrunner. He wrote this script. He wrote, I'm assuming, you know, with obviously he didn't write everything. There's a, a, a team of writers, but like he, he is the showrunner and, and has responsible for the entire thing. I don't think this is a lost situation where they're like, ah, eh, we'll just figure it out as we go. Maybe the things are going to get canceled. We don't even know if we're going to have more than three episodes. And, you know, five seasons later and being like, we just got to wrap this up because we don't know what it is. I don't think it's, it can't, it can't possibly be that. Yeah, I would, does, I would want to agree, but it feels feel that way. like <laughs> It absolutely feels like he got halfway through or maybe two thirds of the way through Empire of Death and just like, I don't know what to do with this. And you can imagine any number of things, uh, but not this. This was now. People online have have developed theories to explain this, which which I'm all for. But I feel like it's you're doing the work, doing that way he, too much. That that, that, at Russell that point. And I doing. would have liked this so much more if they yeah. didn't explain it. Like I like yeah. mysteries, and I don't mind if you don't explain the mystery. In fact, that's better. But don't explain ways. it as an oh, it she was like they are explaining it with an explanation that's not justified or earned. Yes. Oh, she's just a regular person. Like if they had just the doctor said, like, I don't know. And they just push that mystery along for that would have been better than just saying, oh, she's just a regular lady who has a fear of Ancestry.com and has not submitted to any kind of DNA work. And that's why. Sutek wanted her because he couldn't see her in the none of that makes sense. So it's she's 43 because it's, it's 73 yards away. Because yeah, say that at one point, but it's, like literally everything would you can't find another CCTV with someone that's 73 yards away at the time would also be the most important creature in, the, in Sutek's wait, why universe. Would, she was the most important creature because why? For Sutek, because he couldn't like, oh, because she was fine. He couldn't the, figure out who she was because I guess they do. The 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 maybe only? I'm misunderstanding that, but the doctor does say saying. something about the perception filter of the TARDIS, and she's like at 73 yards away. Like, well, that's how... And the idea that Susan... you can't see someone who's 73 yards away? No, that, that I think that so was Why how... couldn't she see her mother then if it wasn't like... And why yeah. do you name a kid by pointing at a, at a sign? That was so who ridiculous. Is there? That's so ridiculous. Who is she telling that's, that's the name? That's the name I'm going to give her. Right. And then walks away. But that to makes who? No, no sense. To who? You're, Right. The, 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 <laughs> the, the, the priest or, or, or the, you know, whoever's in the church has no idea that that's what she, no. oh, she was, I could tell she pointed at a sign. Yeah. Therefore, her Who's that out no. the window? They're pointing. Makes, at, yeah. So it, there's, there's a couple of things like not only on, on the, on the big scheme of things, did he negate everything, but it also does on the smaller scale, the plot side of it, mm -hmm. of the story negates the whole, all the stakes. I think you mentioned this too, but it is those things of, you know, Superman flying backwards around the earth. It is, we've killed all life across the entire universe again. Yeah. And, and once you and kill more than one person, it. it's, it's like, Oh, all right. And yeah. by the end, they're going to undo all of this. Like Absolutely. at no point after, especially after the, um, her bio, bio uh, adoptive mother and 
and Mrs. Flood died, you're like, yep. okay. Yep. Yeah, For a second, I thought, wow, they killed Kate. Like, that was the only moment. Yeah, what's like, yeah, going to happen now? And nothing. Which could have been really effective because they used Kate so well throughout the season, I think. Um, I think your point was good that they don't yeah, I think they could do, but she a little better. But they did personally. bring her through and, and had her through several different episodes and and Ruby got to know her. and We saw the affection between her and the doctor. So the stakes were there for her to die only to again get negated because it didn't mean anything as she came back. So all of that with everyone just felt so silly, so pointless. Um, all of the mysteries had no resolution to them because he just decided to puncture them all. Um, she is important because we said she's important. Her mom, I guess she's the only one, in the entire world that never had her DNA taken, I guess. So that I don't, it just, it's so disappointing. And I yeah, guess it's so very disappointing. I'm so and Sue was actually... disappointing. Like for, to bring mm. back Sue you could have had any villain. It could have been a new villain. Like mm -hmm. there was nothing other than announcing Sutek, which, by the way, they, they named this series season one so that new people could come on board. And then the the uh, penultimate episode is like a name drop of a 40 year old or however old Pyramids right. of Mars is villain. Yes. And, but then there was like so you're like, I, I, I don't know who that is. Like if I had never seen Sutek before, you'd be like, oh, Sutek, who's that? I guess I'll look it up. And then the payoff right. is literally nothing. It could have been any. There wasn't anything Man, about it, and they tied they tie him Sue Tick to the to the uh, Pantheon, but there was no real connection to the Pantheon. Not at all. At, no, they just named a bunch any... of names, and it was like, "Hey, remember these guys we saw this season? Yeah, um, yeah I guess I'm the he's the one that uh, oversees all of them." And then to defeat him with a bungee cord and a whistle yeah, the, the, and the, some gloves, the gloves, the magic gloves. It was, I mean. Visually, I like to. I think it looks good. Um, dragging a a dog god through the time vortex and bringing life back. To, I mean, it was it was fine. Uh, you know, great. But does that make it? I mean, I guess you're supposed no, to say it it's make it not better. supposed to make sense because so many things don't make sense. So it that can't sense. be a response. It was very a big letdown to bring Did... Sutek back to go through all the effort of bringing him back just to really kill him in the not in the same way. I guess in the first one, he's like trapped in the time corridor and he just ages out until he dies supposed to yeah and this right. one they drag him through the time vortex until he disintegrates right. so did did to try did to the find doctor, good. like did the doctor yeah. end death is there no death anymore well is that's what they, live forever right so it's only people that died of his magic sand but like going forward now is no one ever going to die because the god of death is now dead Oh, yeah, I guess he I is know. the god of death, right? So who takes his place? If it was Sandman, then you would have like, oh, there's no, there's no thing. one. Uh, yeah. Which is actually also a Russell T. Davies thing with uh, Torchwood, right? When it was in America, it was no one, people stopped dying. It was like, oh, yeah, yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That was actually a we've very interesting that. concept. Right. Okay, so, we've so done I don't that. know That's if cool. it, I don't know if it's a Torchwood connection. Okay, so uh, I'm kidding. So, but I want to mention one thing before we jump off Empire Records. Uh, sure. When we go see the spoon lady, right, and she yeah. she has that conversation, she mentions a strange man came through. You thought is it that, was the... I think that strange nah. man is David Tennant, because what other strange man are they talking about? Some I mean, other guys be... wa wander around looking around, because what else is David Tennant doing? Is David Tennant sitting in the backyard while Sutek's going on and not trying to help? I think he's jumping well, in his he would have, and he's he going would have left her there. Around. He would have left that woman there and said, he, he said a strange man came through. Didn't he say like hey, he's going to this direction? Because no, that was a group of people thought there was food. He, he's the one that tells her that it's a weird virus. Oh, that attacks the child go that goes backwards. To the mother. But then he uses right. some other word, which I wish I had my notes and it would be better. That's fine. Uh, but why, it, the fact that they mention a man, like, I don't know. For me, I'm like trying to to justify why they don't even mention that there's two doctors. Yeah. That's the basis of every special, like the fact that they split in two and there'd be two doctors and mm -hmm. now they got to solve it together. Like the other doctor is not even mentioned. No. Oh, just, and only he has his own TARDIS. Like, how's your uncle? And that was it. And the memory TARDIS. Only... I don't understand. Oh, here's, here's the quote for you, buddy. So the woman says, uh, they say it travels the death wave down the family line, except mm -hmm. that this man, he said it's 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 perverse. Perverse. That's what, he said. That's, that's what that it's like, so de determined to kill that it can travel backwards from child to mother. But that's OK, because I'm really very tired. 
you have such a nice face. You're right. Everyone does say that. Uh, but to be fair, he does. He's has, an has a extremely great attractive man. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. no question. If you see no him, you're like, it. okay, that's a. But it's a handsome dude. I don't know. It feels like there was too much of that. Like, it was just like, I don't know. That's my. Hey, not, not, to me, nice it scams. would be like, he's more interesting than just that. And again, I just. You had a chance to, like, literally, they killed everyone in the universe. You can't yeah. have Mel having uh, her you know, family members gone or anybody that we know and, and are connected to and have a scene with them about loss instead of this dead baby. This, which, which is on its like in a, of itself was a pretty good scene. I like the scene itself, but it, it was I so guess. disconnected. A spoon? A spoon. Just he to get the real... antenna. And I've seen people say, oh, that's a nod to uh, P Peter Capaldi's doctor fought someone with a spoon but it's not like who cares like that right. doesn't have any meaning if it's just a a, a reference right it's just like yeah, yeah, a, you, maybe the spoon would have the spoon didn't even affect Sutek it was just no, to was, watch Pyramids of make... Mars and why were they watching exactly. Pyramids of Mars and there's a weird scene when they're watching Pyramids yeah. of Mars which I already talked about I'm not going to repeat how I, I know, don't like because you would it would be a first person view from the camera's but point of view yeah when yeah. uh Ruby's like, who are these people? The doctor says they're just people that, but it's like, that's you. It's not they. Right. Right. And then he switches back to the first person when he talks to Mel. He's like, don't you remember we met Einstein or, or Mozart? I don't right. know what he said. Einstein, right. And, but and why he is he saying Sarah they're Jane, just, which was lovely as well. Oh, and, they're just a uh, couple of, so they. Okay. It doesn't, so, he, can't he remember everything about Pyramid Smart? He loses So memory. overall, we really, we really like this, is what we're saying. We really enjoy it. <laughs> and I hate so, this. I hate talking negatively about things. I know. It's not fair. I know. Uh, but there's, to do this. But, you but, should but, talk about what you like. And, no, but, but here's, I can't the, help it. here's the reason, though, I think mm. that this is striking me as so, uh, I don't know upsetting. It makes me kind of, kind of okay. angry, which is a weird thing to do for like a TV show, like, whatever. Um, but still, I think. It was all the checks that he couldn't cash in the end. He was, I think, Russell D. Davies, Davies did a lot of setup. And if he hadn't laid these expectations to such a degree, and maybe that's my fault for being mm -hmm. so excited and being like overly invested in what I thought he was doing. Um, but it really doesn't feel like he had a plan. Like, you're, to your point, it doesn't feel like he was setting things up for you know it was here here's he the doesn't way. feel it like wasn't as though, hang on hang on, hang yep. on it wasn't as though he set up a whole bunch of clues and it was a switch and it's like it's not what you think it's this thing instead and then it you look back that. and it's justified and you could put it out instead it was like it's not the thing you thought it's nothing and like that's so much worse right. so i guess i'm mostly angry because of how much i liked everything so it's the compare it's the difference between the highs of this season mm -hmm. and there were some lows uh the highs of the season and then this resulting thing. If it had all been a mediocre season and it ended this way, it's like, okay, overall it was kind of, so whatever. Um, so I think it's the comparison to the other stuff he was doing. You, you think about this compared to Boom or 73 Yards or, uh, you know, some of the other, you know, uh, you know, the previous episode, Legend of Ruby Sunday. Um, you compare them right next to each other. This just feels yeah, even it's one of because the, of that. Yeah, it's one of the weakers. But yeah, to your point, like if you are, really focusing on the mystery and you're going mm -hmm. out of your way to make things like why is there snow and like you're early Still. in the season showing snow and the doctor can't understand why snow is coming and then the result is because they're so normal and you don't even really mention the snow or at least i don't remember them saying no. oh the snow came through i've seen people online talk about oh the tardis is protecting itself or the tardis knows that uh uh, Sutek was there. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. And, and it's no. letting I mean, that that's, he's, he's drawing I'm attention. I'm all for it. The TARDIS is drawing attention to that period of time. For what end? Like the TARDIS Terrific. should draw you know, that's period great. of time people to, are trying to, make to it better. the They're... Pyramids of Mars. Just have the DVD out on the counter so that they could watch it in the uh, iPad thing. It's fine. I want to talk a little bit about Mrs. Flood. Go for it. Because I the missed Ronnie. this. Yes. First of all, not the Ronnie. Uh, well, yes, we get into the Ronnie stuff. But <laughs> we when we were it. when I was watching um, Empire of Death, I I, I yeah. like forgot to write down, but immediately was like, she's wearing Romana's outfit. It's like Romana one's oh, yeah, snow kinda. outfit, and yeah, like I yeah, forgot yeah. to mention it. So I I want to bring that up. And then when I Great. was online, now I noticed the Romana one outfit, but I did not notice that she's dressed Mrs. Flood in all of her appearances, and there's not that many, but she's dressed like other companions. 
So she's dressed like uh, Clara in one, and she's maybe we'll add it to the show notes huh. or something. She's dre- dressed like other companions, which is like okay. So oh. that's also interesting. Um, so I don't know what that means, but the fact that she was clearly that's Romana's outfit. So is it another companion that is like taunting him, or is it uh, is it is it the Rani? Uh, you know, be, the way you had predicted. And I, I well, was here's like, yeah, you're right. Here's the here's the clue that's not a clue at okay. all because nothing means anything anymore. Well, that's the other thing. You're like nothing means anything. So what, nothing means anything more. Why? But if we're if we're, if we're talking about silly anagrams, I mean, Mrs. Flood and the Rani. The Rani is an anagram for rain and it's mrs flood i mean it could, okay I mean, sure yeah that would sure. have been that would have been fine but now it doesn't mean anything so i don't give a hoot about it I, and i and i so mentioned upsetting. the ronnie in in the review and someone in one of the comments said something about the rights um so to my knowledge i think that's a potential issue that it can't uh-huh. be the ronnie legally because the ronnie was created by pip and jane baker right and as far as i know they're both deceased uh-huh. But where those right? I feel like Disney would be able to find the owner. I was right just going to say write a check. But I'm also actually Absolutely. very curious that that it worked that way. That if you created a character, and I guess that um, was Terry Nation with Terry the Daleks, Nation with yeah. the Daleks and stuff, that you would own it because it feels yep. like in the 70s or the 60s, especially in the states, like the corporation would have they would have owned it. that. Yeah. Um, so that's I hope maybe that's, you know, literally we're doing all this Ronnie stuff and it's like, yeah, that's not going to ever happen. Because, I'm pretty sure it's not going to ever happen. You know, so I don't know the legal up. things. You know, I don't like to think about that, but it's potentially an issue that we're completely wasting our time by talking about the Ronnie. But it would be nice. Hey, hey maybe maybe that's why uh, the last third of this episode had to get rewritten into something hasty and not so good. But the other thing, too, is like it wasn't just Russell T. Davies writing this and everyone. It went through hundreds of people to get to the point where we saw it air yeah and no one was like you want to take another pass of this i know you're good you're happy with this at, ending? right this is, at, this is what you wanted to do the, the other time, thing you yes to? you're right you're 100 percent right and the other thing that bothers me and I, we're just beating up on this but I, it's also I, like makes me mad that in the preceding episode they invite miss flood over miss flood comes the darkness it's like oh yep. she's going to be a big part and they literally yep. kill her in the first few minutes and then yep. you could have just not included her. Like, don't include no. her just to get people excited about a reveal of who Mrs. Flood is in this, the finale and then not actually pay it off. You could have just had Mrs. Flood at the end saying her exact same line. This is the end of absolutely. Ruby's story. There was no reason for her to be there other than like uh, an excitement builder that didn't get paid off. It was like, <laughs> totally don't even agree. don't have her in there. I totally agree. That feels and very this, cheap. And, and, uh, I mean, another I thing know. that didn't pay off, and maybe this is at the point where we can jump Burn it down! <laughs> talk, <laughs> we can talk about the season as a whole. But, um, the, the, the whole conceit of the season was, you know, this is, this is a science fiction show that has now yeah. crossed over into fantasy because of what happened with, um, the, the 15th, 15th Doctor now? I don't even know at this Tenet's point. Tenant's Doctor. There, like, there's so many. I, yeah, whatever. I guess up until Tenet, you're, you're correct. That's easy. So, to so we got, we got, we got, we got Tenet, um, uh, and Donna at the edge of the universe, and mm-hmm. he invokes uh, uh, the the salt. So he's invoking like a superstition, and that's what lets yeah. these uh, other other than Sutek being nominally the head of this pantheon that they invented and then disband uh, discarded for no you know no good purpose. Um, what what has happened with that? Like, I, I really do think it's very interesting, all the points that we've mentioned repeatedly through different stories of, like, breaking the fourth wall, the doctor talking about the music uh, being uh, thought it was diegetic, but it wasn't, and looking at the camera. She, I think Mrs. Flood kind of does that be, besides the final scene that she's talking directly to camera when she goes to the window uh, in Cherry's room and she says the storm is coming. She looks out the window, but she's also kind of looking at the camera at the yeah. same time. Like, they do a bunch of those things, and... And I loved your uh, part of your review. You're talking about like, is this a meta commentary? Is like, is it actually someone controlling Sutek from the outside? It's like, like those Didn't are end up such like that. great <laughs> idea. No, totally. Those are such great ideas that were all again. These, this was set up story by story, little pieces added. Some had some stories had more than others, but it was still building this entire thing. 
only to go nowhere. Okay, maybe actually Russell T. Davies is setting up like a three three season story arc, and this is the first part of it, and things will come back in. Because I do think, even though um, Ruby Sunday is leaving the cast as a regular, at least as far well, as we know. As far as I know, she's in this Christmas special. Great. So, okay. So maybe that's the only time. So the, Steve you know, and the doctor's one. saying, yes, I'm absolutely going to see you again. Uh, we know there's another companion that's going to be coming. Um, so I, I, again, so maybe, maybe, Hey, maybe he has setting up a multi-season thing and this is all going to get like, we're, we're going to look really silly being so angry about that, but it's a really, if that's it's true, not it's a, a good really weird plan. downer. Yeah. It's <laughs> definitely a downer. And I don't think, I don't think that's like I don't a believe great that's way case. to do it. Like, I don't think it's the case. I'm just trying to be optimistic yes. about it. So I, I, I don't think I can't imagine that they would undo Ruby being, having a normal mother. Now, of course, there's always a part of you that's like, we haven't met the father. Maybe the yeah, father's somebody. And the mother is, you know, but they didn't even hint at that. So I don't know. I, I feel the like whole a sucker Susan for even Foreman, starting to think. Of, yeah, the, the whole, whole Susan, Susan Foreman, Foreman letdown was so, so, such a waste. Because it's, here's one of the things I like about uh, Russell Davies and Moffat. I guess all of them really, but I, I'm, those are the two. I, I wasn't a huge fan of the Chibnall era. It was fine, but it wasn't my favorite. But I like that these people love Doctor Who so much and love all the little bits and pieces of it and decide to like focus on those and bring them back or flesh them out. So when he mentions his granddaughter, he starts talking about Susan. For me, it's like, oh, heck, you're right. Why have we not talked about her ever since she left? Like, it's just never mentioned again. What a weird thing. And it feels obvious, like, of course, Russell Davis is going to go back and take that thread and build it into something bigger. And then he doesn't. Yeah, I know. And, and he doesn't. Right. He just and, and, and I mentioned this in the thing. I, me I so realize angry. I'm building, I'm adding to my own disappointment because I was yep. like, oh, what if cool. Susan is Ruby's mother or somehow? And then that's, that's yeah. now that's his great granddaughter or whatever. But it's, that's also on me. But you're right. They, yep. they, they add these pieces and f to what? Like to do all that stuff for the anniversary maybe we're gonna see susan like i, I feel like maybe right. that's the christmas special or he That'd realizes he has to visit her and then they're saving that for that but it 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 feels like there's just too much build up and not enough payoff and then no a, payoff sort of like a, a a breaking of the trust so now that's absolutely what I it just is just don't i don't know i i lost a lot of of uh like i said joy. Let's go yeah, over the yeah. season. You want to talk about the okay. season and uh, uh, yeah. Let's, I mean, as, are as we going to start with oh, uh, Ruby uh, Church on sure. Ruby Road? So, folks, what we're going to do is hardly gonna remember re that. We re review every single episode again. So this is going to be a five-hour podcast. No, yeah. I, I mean, but as a start, I, as a start, go... this is the Goblin song. Yeah. Someone um, also mentioned in the comments that they rewatched it. I did not rewatch it before talking to you. That you mm -hmm. cannot see a sign anywhere in the exterior shots oh, of awesome. that scene. Now, I have not That's watched fantastic. it to, to prove it, but that also goes to the theory of them adding this you know, it, subplot honestly, at the end as opposed to the It really feels beginning. like it. It really feels like something. They, they had one story ready to go. Maybe they shot it and they had to can it and do something else. It, it honestly, I don't, I'm not saying that is what happened, but that's hundred percent what it feels like. Um, I don't really feel a need to go like story by story other than to well, say, I just like, want to do a few sentences. Cause I could, I want to yeah. see the dips. Uh, cause I thought this started off really well for a Christmas special. Like I was Absolutely. totally happy with the, the, um, labyrinth esque yeah. goblin song and like all of that stuff. And I liked their chemistry. Like I thought it was a great meeting of the two and it establishes about coincidence and, and uh, babies and family. And so I thought it was a good Which, start. Again, none of that mattered. Coincidence didn't matter. The no, but the fact I guess foundlings didn't matter. Family I'm, sorry. Did. I'm not going to do that for all of this, but like. It in a way, though, in a weird. way to defend the show, you could argue that Don't it does matter because okay. it's establishing that we as humans apply meaning to chaos in any oh, kind of data okay. set. And so we take a coincidence and we think it has meaning. Okay. When it actually doesn't, but clearly in this world it does have meaning because it attracts goblins. Um, so it, just in in and of itself, that has meaning. But yeah, I, don't I know, guess I, I yes. was, okay. as a Fair start enough. of the series, I I was all in until we get to our next episode, 
uh, Space Baby, still the worst of the bunch, even even I as disappointed think. as I was with Empire of Death. Space Baby is still number one. Why have I decided to do a podcast on, on who? <laughs> I think I liked it more than you did. Um, yeah, I think that's fair. There, I didn't like the babies themselves. I thought that was just really Yeah, look silly. who's talking, not this guy. It, it, yeah, did not enjoy that. But I did like the setting. I liked the overall like world building that it was doing. I liked the monster, the boogeyman as a concept. I thought it was actually kind of funny, even if it was like very juvenile that was literally made of yes. boogers and then also a, a show about story right like creating yeah. Yeah, story yeah, yeah. and creating a bad guy and oh it's a lord of stories is in the pantheon but now it's su tech yeah of death. right right no and and you know they 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 brought back the snow there actually is that the first time we see it snow outside of ruby rose did it yeah did it, i think so i think you think you're right because they're in does, like that hallway and then they it stop does happen like, there i didn't know if it like happened yeah he goes back to story. his memory of that night right correct and they don't introduce the pointing yet i think the pointing comes later but he sees yes. her yeah 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 okay that's right so that was space babies it was overall fine um devil's court though uh was a great way to pick that it up was a high there. Way. That was great. That was I, a highlight you know, and a low light in that yes. it it was the episode that really said this is going to be different. This season is going to have a switcheroo when uh, the maestro is playing the theme song like, oh, I've never seen yeah. that before. Yeah. The doctor commenting on the soundtrack or like the mm -hmm. sound effect like, oh, I thought the uh, that was diegetic. Is, yeah, that was none great. Of, none of that. So none of that mattered. But the this, highlights, yeah. Jinx, Jinx Monsoon as Agreed the maestro, per perfect casting. I thought the production design was fantastic. Um, going into the future and seeing like the destroyed world, uh, all of that was just super fun. And it was also really setting up these expectations. You know, you know the the maestro is saying that more are coming. Um, you know, so we know that there's the the toy maker. We see that there's the this maestro, and it's all building and it's all connecting. So that was a really great episode in that way. I hated the musical number a lot. Oh, at the end, yeah, where they just I absolutely not not because it was a musical number. I have no problem with that. Buffy did it famously well. I love that episode. I didn't like the music. I thought the music wasn't very good. Was um, it I don't remember what they did. Was it the twist? Yeah, there's a twist. There's always a twist at the end. Um right. and the twist apparently the twist at the end is there's no twist at all. And there really anyway. wasn't a Susan twist at the end of this. They got rid of her pretty early. She was such Wait, an important you... character. It, I'm saying, like, they reveal who she is in, like, Empire of Death early. Right. And then she's inconsequential oh, at that yes, moment. Yes. Like, it's right. just like, yeah. I mean, she, I mean she's the reason like... why they destroyed time and the universe. Yeah. I mean, I think that I not much really talk about this. I think it was an interesting idea that Sutek was traveling with them this entire time. And everywhere they landed within that 73 yards, he created another version of her on every planet. And because it came to the Earth so many times, she kept getting re re reinforced. Right. But that do was you kind think cool? Do you think that that's like a timey wimey thing like that only happens in this season somehow? Like if 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 Sutek is literally from all of the shows we've seen since Pyramids of uh -huh. Mars. At uh -huh. all that, those what times, yes, including the doctor's, uh, was it was the doctor's wife or whatever? Is yeah, yeah, when it blows apart. Yeah, yeah, like Sutek is there. No one ever yeah. notices it. Like yep. it's not. Yep. That's what they're saying. Sutek is just what an invisible. Yeah, in, in a different quantum state, a different or something state is the, that is the what TARDIS the... never would have picked up on, and went and and to that guy, to the person's point, who I wish I apologies for not remembering your uh, name at this point, when it split apart, like was Sutex, that seems dumb. Uh, a yeah, bit. it is one of those things. It's not because the TARDIS to me, only is acting weird this season. Like it's not landing right. right. It's groaning. So it's like okay, and was it, it? Is it like we'll with come the back salt? To it because... Is it related to the salt? I guess I, I mean, that was know. the whole thing. That was the whole thing with that you're kind of suggesting with this bubble universe, where you know eventually tenants' doctor is going to have to go away, and there's not going to be right, by generation. All this will get undone. So that so that all these things could kind of live in their own world and get resolved in a different way. Um, but I don't. Again, who knows? Who knows if that's the case? But um, anyway, fine. Um, but yeah, I think it is the implication is that Sutek was along with them for every one of those, and 
just no one noticed, which is crazy. Um, next episode uh, we had was Boom. Um, that, I think, was one of the most visually stunning episodes. I mean, when I think about that episode, the, the shot that comes to mind is they're on the battlefield. It's all cloudy. And then the vacuums uh, ships come flying by and suck everything away. That's when Ruby actually, mm-hmm. for the first time, sees uh the universe from a different planet yes i thought that was that was very cool remarkable i thought that was beautifully done um the set was incredible shooting this on a volume all that was it was really really good um it wasn't my favorite episode i you know i think we talked about this at the time but like such a frenetic doctor and then locking him in place so he can't move was an interesting concept i think um but overall it really it just and th- it didn't really seem like a Big I liked. I, I think I me. liked this one more than you did. I think but you did too. This also was the one where the medical officer is like can't find. You know, it's like next of kin and starts breaking down. Right. Because right. is it doing? Is it do? Is it running its own DNA test? Like <sighs> because that's after twenty forty. I know it doesn't. I don't know. But I don't know. But that was the the ambulance was uh, Susan Twist, right? So right. is that Sutek running it because it's an agent of Sutek? That's a robot. Why wouldn't Sutek just appear as a uh, human at that point? I, well, it's fine. I, all I mean, of she, the she, all of the robots uh, that none robots of these are Sutek, and they and it can't figure out the DNA test that you can get at that one office. That one office is Yeah, fine. it is just that one, the 23 and me in 2043 or whatever. Yeah. That's the only place you can get. But again, I, it's like building whatever. up like, oh, my God, who is this? Right. Even the maestro's looking at her and going, you are not right. Well, actually, yes. she's 100% right. She's nothing You're, wrong with her. She's nothing just wrong. normal. She's normal. I liked Boom. Boom was okay. What was after Boom? Was boom was fine. 73 was, yards, which I think was, masterpiece. Uh, was a highlight for all of us. That's definitely all the high. Us, high we don't us. need to even talk about it anymore. High water mark great. for me. It was great. Yep. Followed by uh, Dot and Bubble. Dot and Bubble, not great. I think we uh, definitely on the lower end. So of if it. you look like it's like okay, starts off pretty good, then goes real low, and then it sort of goes uh, back up. 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 Plot, Although for you, I want to plot all these. Then it goes kind of down. Down. And Dot then, and Bubble um, is definitely low light. And then Did we get the rogue? last two. Oh, Rogue. Rogue. I thought I liked Rogue. I thought that Rogue was good. Rogue was super fun. I think we, you know, covered that really recently. I remember how good that was. Is that the time? So the Doctor in um, in Empire of Death, I think, is when he says that the TARDIS has made this sound before, this groaning sound. Yeah, It makes that sound whenever Rogue is inside the TARDIS. Yeah, but it's meaningless. Is that the time that he's talking to? Is that... I know it doesn't mean anything, but is that (laughs) what he was referencing? Or is there some other time that we're supposed to be like, oh, yeah, in episode blah, 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 in 1982? No, I think he, the TARDIS was groaning in maybe Wild Blue Yonder or something. Like, I feel like there was was another, I feel like Wild Blue Yonder may be the birth. Was that the first? Oh no, Star Beast was the first one. I'd have yes, to go back. Yes, Wild Blue and, Yonder. And Wild that's Blue the one with the, the salt the episode when it starts, when this whole thing is right. So to if be you connect off, it right. to his salt thing, like they, yeah. why not just tie it to that? Like you brought Sutek back when I laid the salt down when David. Because Tenet... I mean, they kind of say that, a, but they a bit don't. That's, that's how the do toy they? master comes in. That's how. That's how the Maestro came in. That's kind but of, no, they kind say of... Sutek's been hanging out on the TARDIS for way before that, since oh, the seventies. You're, you're totally right. And waiting for his moment. Like, no, it, you're totally. I'm wrong. You're that's a hundred percent right. It meant li- like they, say you've changed <laughs> time by doing this. You change time, so Sutek didn't die because you changed time. Like at least connect or, that or, dot. Well, I or think something. they were they were. It was less that they were changing time and more like changing the rules of the universe I in a way. And you could have tied to it that way. It would be fine. Anyway, it's that's all it. fine. And then. And then we got to the, so the, the last yeah. two. So we it. start doing this, and then by the end, we get to, uh, which we just covered. And I was at a pretty high point. I felt like the Sutek reveal, and I'm thinking about John Carpenter. Man, you uh, on the top of the, you were on I top was of the ready. world whenever you were. I was ready. I was so like, witness me. I was spraying my face with chrome and uh, yep, driving yep. right into a wall. Because uh, the end, the last episode, I was so disappointed that it made me not like the previous ones. Like, it took the maestro and knocked it down because of. It it all sort of it took away the pieces that we liked it, <laughs> it in it. Took it, away. Did. it. Yeah, it's so I'm overall. Yeah. I don't know. I was gonna say overall season wise, I do like Shudi Gatwa. 
I love. Do, I do like Millie Gibson. I like them Absolutely. together. I yep. um, I would like to see another season with them. We won't get that. But I'm very disappointed. I think all in on the whole season. If, if mostly because last, of how it concluded. If it had stuck the landing, that last it would be saying third different. of the last episode had been different. The entire my point of view on the entire season would have been better if everything that had been set up had actually paid off in a way that it was pointing to. Yeah. Instead of this. Or Nothing. don't set it up in the way that you set it up to see yeah. disappointment. Like if it had, yeah. if it had not done that, then I'd be like, okay, let's you know, we'll see. Right, we didn't we'll need, see what happens. Right, we could don't, have just not had this enduring mystery throughout. We could have just had a series of adventures that were fairly standalone, and it would have been okay. You didn't need to have the snow through each yeah. one. You didn't, just have didn't Mrs. Have... Flood as the mystery, like yeah, yeah and yeah. then you'd be like, okay, and then the next season pay her off or whenever. I mean, because we that. already did the whole thing with. I think we mentioned this in the very beginning. Whenever it's like, what's going on with Ruby Sunday? They've already done this. Like, there's something wrong with her thing Mm -hmm. with amy pond they already did that with her pregnancy and all that so it's like so when you compare it like that's the standard that is being kind of set up to at least in my mind it was it should have been on the same kind of level as that and it just wasn't anyway anyway that's it i don't know so that's what we thought of the whole season to disney plus and um i'm burning all these episodes now Whatever it was, it was fine. No, no shade to anyone, to everyone who produced the show, made the show, uh, starred in. Everyone did a great job. It's just not the ending for me that I liked. And maybe there's a lot of people. Maybe there's a significant number of people online who are like, "No, this was actually." I a really think a great lot of ending. people like it, and I it think a lot of people me. found it emotionally re- rewarding. The ending when she meets her biological I mother. Too. You liked it. I for me, I, it I didn't liked that they ring met true. It felt so fast and rushed and didn't feel when i mean i, I guess think about it on its own as as like like that scene with the woman that was all if you disconnected from everything else yeah. in and of itself i liked her meeting her mom i liked the way that she did it i thought Melly gibson's performance was wonderful in that she's i thought great the actress. her mom their their rapport but it's like recognized. this like, it's it was this great. long and but, it's an epilogue like if they had just it, had her mm-hmm. find out her mother was her mother at the end of the previous one and then spend the yep. whole episode with them together working out like why you left, like just to go from that to everyone hugging and in the super family, it's, it yeah. felt a little disingenuous, especially for people that are in those situations. Cause life is not like that. And I don't know. Yeah. I know it's a kid show, but I would say people say it's a kid show. This is more like a YA show. I mean, it has been yeah, it is a, YA for show. a long time. Absolutely. And uh, there's other shows that can do that stuff a little bit better. Yeah, That's all I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, so maybe this wasn't for so me. So I have some I feedback. Like I have some uh, yeah, feedback that I wanted hey, this, to get to. This is to. a bit of a role reversal here. Eric's reading the I actually the, have some feedback. Mail. I have so much feedback that I don't know if, I wanna, if I'm want if i going to be able to read it all. Okay. But I, w- I do want to read highlights. one thing that someone wrote because some of, it, uh, some of it I agreed with. Some of it I really didn't agree with. Okay. Uh, but I think it's all worth talking about. So... This person, and I don't know, did they say I can read it out loud? Uh, I'm f- sorry. Okay, I think they thought, I think it's fine. I will, I won't, I'll, it's triple, I won't put, say your name. It starts with triple. Okay. Uh, they wrote, basically, uh, their ideas of how to fix Doctor Who, because they're saying mm. that people are not satisfied with the narrative, and uh, it's important for telling stories. So these are their rules uh, for what not to do, or what they have to get rid of, and what they need to do. So okay. get rid of the sonic screwdriver. We've done that before. I would before. say you don't, you don't need to get rid of it, but I think they definitely have to power it down. Yeah. Get rid of sonic sunglasses, magic rope gloves. Those are all kind of the same thing. So basically get rid of items that... Anything that's a convenient anything like a device magic, to get you. Yep. Right. That's fine. That's right. Or give, you have to have some kind of limitation on the thing. I would agree with even that. The sonic, even the sonic had limitation and, you know, with the... you know. Uh, What's it called? Uh, uh, the lock. The what do you call it? It's something locked. Oh, they say it a thousand what times. But when you can't, when you can't use the sonic on a thing because it's been, it's been. Oh yeah, I know. It's deadlocked. Fine. Deadlocked. Okay. Ooh. But then that went so far. So anyway, but it's fine. Get rid of yes. excess Keep of going. characters with no development. I mean, that's true for any story. I don't think you, absolutely. You sure. know, certain characters don't have to be overly developed. 
you know, right. not everyone needs a backstory, but I think I get their point having too many characters yeah. that weren't developed. Cop or, out. Would, can I, can I, wait, yeah. can I uh, amend that one? Yes. To say, don't introduce a character. Try to give us an emotional attachment to them to then kill them. This yeah. is what happened in uh, the last two episodes. We had the, hey, you're, is that a Manchester accent? Hey, I'm t whatever, tame side girl and you're <laughs> Cheatham guy. And hey, we're friends now. And then you kill him. Like that's just feels manipulative. Yeah, um, I don't like that. Anyway, that cop good. out endings. Um, sure. I mean, I guess that's like uh, Deus Ex Machina type endings where uh, you just end it or have something come in that well, doesn't it was, feel just. It was all a dream. Right. That sort of thing. I used Absolutely. to read Word Up magazine. That's the same thing. As, <laughs> that's the same thing as uh, the the Sonic and the Magic mm -hmm. Magic Gloves and everything. Yeah. it's it's so, the uh, Some of these I think are are, are totally grouped together overt emotions yep. doctor who is not a soapy or certainly shouldn't be i don't know if i completely agree nah. with that one i disagree with um that too. i like doctor that... who can be any number of things and this is a different doctor than we've ever seen before who is wearing his emotions on his sleeve happy and sad we've seen angry doctors we've seen sad doctors this is a doctor that has the full range of emotions i like it yeah. let's try it i and i i would agree that there's too much of the same type of emotion to where it loses weight each time that uh, I thought you were right when you do it. Before. I feel like you, you have to be a little bit pull back a little bit, um, but I wouldn't Judicious remove with it. all emotions or any kind of Absolutely. showing of emotion. Yeah. Uh, right. Or here's the one I definitely disagree with, which is remove all the woke and preaching at audiences. And I would say you have good ideas here on stuff to remove and we'll get to what you want to add. And I feel like by putting woke in there, you don't do your argument any good you like lump it into like what does even that word mean at this point like it's just right. been completely destroyed it started out like as a thing to talk about you know racial injustice and then it was co-opted mm -hmm. by all sorts of groups and now it's just this like one word catch-all for things that yeah. you don't like so be specific about what you don't like it feels can I, like can i respond to that though too yes I you think... can respond i i i, no, I, I totally well, agree yeah, with that. You, you respond no, I, I totally agree with that. I, I, when people, when I hear people saying woke, it seems to to mean, why are you throwing this? In this this season was very queer, very queer season. We had uh, Rose, uh, Rosie, uh, Rose um, uh, Noble, um, which I think was remarkable. We have uh, Shudi Gatwa as you know, openly queer, and the character also the the queer romance. Uh, we have a a, a racially diverse cast we have ruby adopted uh with a uh, black mother and uh family um a, a black doctor we have uh, uh people of many different races like, is that the problem is that what you mean by woke? yeah and that's to what me, i was to me yep. i would say would you would you feel the same way if if the per it, speaking to the person that wrote this if you took the word woke and replaced it with inclusive stop with all this inclusive stuff Stop shoving all this inclusive storylines down my throat. Do you see where I'm coming from? Is like Doctor Who had been a very particular show, um, helmed by a, a presumably straight or non-sexual, really for the most part, uh, white man in a very uh, heteronormative and white uh, surroundings, and that was the time. We are in a different time. Uh, I think um, representation does matter. Uh, it uh, matters to people to be able to dream what they can become when they see it on a screen, uh, read it in a book, see it in a magazine. Um, I think inclusivity matters. So when you say get rid of that woke stuff and stop shoving it down my throat, I hear stop being so inclusive and bring other people in. Yeah, I, I would even push harder back on it and say, say what you mean, because if you're just saying woke, it could be like, oh, you don't like queer characters in this. You don't like uh, black like. Say like, and maybe if you wrote down what you're talking about, you would feel more uncomfortable. Yeah. And I yeah. feel like it's a word you could just hide behind because it's such a catch all. Now, I'm not saying this person means any of that. No, no, no. But not I'm at saying all. You, not you open yourself up to that interpretation. It's like write down exactly the stories aren't right. good. We'll, we'll talk about how the, the stories are. Absolutely. Good. Like, but yeah, like, I guess I'm, I'm responding and, more to the, the term itself and not this this person who wrote it. Yeah. And, thank you and, and, and I, I agree. I feel like people use that term as, as like a cowardly way to just not really talk about what they really maybe they mean. And, and, and I would like, say maybe it's even less less so cowardly as is kind of a 
a judgment being made. It is lazy. It is a yeah. catch-all. So, okay. so I don't have to think about all the things that I actually mean. I have a feeling, and I, I don't want to put words to it, so I'm just going to call it woke so I don't actually have to analyze that. That's kind of how I see it, and I'd, I'd appreciate this person. First of all, I appreciate you giving any feedback at all. That's freaking awesome. Thank you. I would appreciate the person taking a little time to do that introspection and say, like, okay, well, actually, like you're saying, Eric, actually, when I'm saying book, what I really mean is this thing, this thing, this thing. I don't like it. And here's why I don't like it and why I think it would be right. better. To and I think the way. second awesome. part of what they wrote is preaching, which I think, okay, so it's really not, I'm again, I'm assigning what I think you mean. But if it's, right. I don't like the way the message is delivered, which for me would be dot and bubble, like I, yeah. You know, the the point of the thing is totally valid and makes sense, but the delivery vehicle is flawed. And here's why. Totally. They don't, yep. That's totally valid. Maybe, you know, I don't preach at it. Maybe do it more subtly. That's something yeah. that's, that's And if it's like that Doctor Who is not supposed to be political or touch on social it's issues, like, it's always been like It's that. always been. And, and it's not every single story, but, but, you know, we've been doing these Doctor Who classic reviews forever there's so many anti-capitalist stuff there's anti-corporation stuff there was a whole bunch of stuff on about sexism war, about time monster yeah. the damons is anti-catholic church or uh, anti-organized religion right um there's anti-colonialism stuff there's like that whole episode where they're drilling like it's all like anti-fracking right, right, uh, right inferno right. like so that stuff is been God, yeah. with it forever yeah. but it, i think Absolutely. maybe your and, and your issue is the delivery bigger. of it totally and science fiction as a genre that is yeah. the that is the thing that it's 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 allegory um to talk about things in an indirect way that are difficult to talk about and it's usually yes. political i think these are all political statements so and i and i always feel to... for myself like a lot of the times like it is the the metaphor like if you're talking about what you're talking about and it's just surface level that's when it gets kind of preachy and you can just you can mm -hmm. see it coming there's yep. so i feel like those kind of criticisms are totally valid but yeah. when you just when you wrote like woke, like because I, I was going through your list and I'm like, OK, OK. And then you get to that. And it's like I could prejudge you based on just using that word. And I don't yeah. think that's fair. And I, no, not at all. You know what I mean? So, OK, so Again, that's not I think that's we'd seven. rather have the conversation about the specifics. Totally. Than this one term that is uh, open to interpretation that you may not have even meant. Right. Yeah. So, OK, so number eight, Disney. Yes. Even if that means no more who and it, and. I mean, I I don't know if I necessarily agree with that unless there's like proof that Disney is definitely influencing Russell T. Davies. Maybe I'm he is. Maybe it. he isn't. I'm not. I think Russell T. Davies is telling the stories he wants to tell. Yeah. I, from, if anything, from... all I see is Disney giving them more money to to do bigger stories. I I don't think there's you know there's a term of like the Disneyfication of things. I think that's. I don't see that in this this season. Um, I think it is a continuation of the stories they have been doing. Like you said, it's less a children's show, more of a YA show. Um, you but I feel, like maybe but a, I feel like it's always been a YA. I feel like all totally. of New Who Agreed. has been that. Like you look at Russell Agreed. T. Davies with with uh, bi characters and like it's it, mm -hmm. any. I don't think that he's doing anything since Disney that he wasn't already doing. Absolutely right. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know. Okay, so the next no, thing is. Shift the emphasis on CGI. Shift the emphasis on CGI. It shouldn't be a priority. Okay, I think he means to shift oh, the emphasis oh, yeah, yeah. off CGI, right? Well, actually, yes. And I, think I want more practical effects, so I would agree talking with that. Talking about the, that's what the he's Disney saying. side of it, if you watch any of the, uh, a lot of the behind the scenes, um, thinking specifically of Dot and Bubble, those big slug monster thingies, yeah. they were practical. Um, there was right. a lot in this, I think, and Star in Beast this too. season, there's and, so uh, much uh, more. Um, yeah, the, and, uh, the Wild, Wild Beyond Wonder, those were practical. Like, I think what you're seeing with Disney is the ability to actually spend the money on the practical so that the, the CG is an enhancement of it. It's the combination of the two. Whereas if you think of the episode Rose, mm -hmm. like the first in 2005, Rose, that was so much CG and it was terrible. Uh, I, and yeah, they I haven't have seen the money to do, to do the, you know, remember like. Mickey it's going the, into the trash can and the uh, trash can's autons, plastic. Right? Is like, oh, yes. Ah, yeah. That was, really, yeah, yeah. That was, it was bad. so bad. That was very bad. Um, so like this, I think, is moving that direction. Maybe, though, what you're picking up on is the stylization of that practical, of that production design feels like it lends itself to CG. So it all feels CG. But I think the trick is 
we're actually going the other direction and it's much more practical yeah. with cg as enhancement and i would say which like, i love overall like this whole season i didn't notice the cgi being a, like a negative i can't really think of too many times where i'm like oh, okay that that's gonna I age say, poorly i, 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 I thought it was pretty good scenes i didn't watch the behind the scenes on uh these last two episodes um i wonder i was when i see sutek around the around the tardis yeah it felt like it was actually i thought that looked to me i thought that looked it cool. looked great it looked i was beautiful. a fan it looked of like the... i wonder if it was an actual puppet with cg enhancements on it and i wouldn't be surprised if it was i'll yeah. have watched it as soon as we've finished recording this but anyway keep going all right so that's the end of things that you need to get rid of Interesting. And now some things to do okay answer okay. mystery answer mysteries with good narrative solutions that's good writing i would i completely agree with that can't can't disagree bring back proper sci-fi um this is a little this bit season, like what is proper sci-fi i guess this you would season's say been more like, fantasy than definitely than more fantasy i would say yes i like adding a little bit of fantasy every once in a while mm -hmm. to mix it up but i would be okay with a, a the a more science fiction hooked one especially with science being the yeah. answer but that was not the point of this but season that's what especially when i did. thought it was like magic is coming because yeah, of yeah, this yeah. but now i don't know if any of that's true now we don't know if anything matters but yeah i think we'd always had that with like it's not really a ghost it's a projection of the energy of the bubble yeah. like, which is how I doctor who was which fine. is like pyramids of mars was so, oh the the uh, the egyptians base their whole oh speaking of pyramids of mars so when they're watching pyramids of mars the doctor yeah. does that cultural appropriation joke yes now yes, he's, he does. is he saying that obviously it's a commentary on the show, original show yes. being cultural but is yes. in the world is he saying that the egyptians were cultural appropriators because they stole that whole look oh from no the no Assyrians? because in the world of doctor okay. who the uh horus uh, is chases sutek oh that's funny from planet that's to funny. planet and then the they base their entire the egyptians base their entire religion and lifestyle on the Osarians. so that's they're funny. the cultural appropriators Good job. They, All right. right. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, cool. Okay. I so, like it. I like it. Uh, explain. Explain 14. Who's 14? 14 is the bi generated tenant. Or okay. the, the ten okay. tenant coming That's back. That's tenant. Okay. So, explain yeah. 14. He has to die. A doctor yes. on Earth retired and not helping out. Agree on, yes. on that. A shocking, lazy, we don't care approach from Russell T. Davies. Now, yeah. part of me is like, did they do that literally for big finish stories? I don't think they would need to, other than maybe to add Rose to them, because they say how Rose and the Doctor went to Mars, which is interesting. Yeah. The pyramids of Mars, um, yeah, happening. But is that is it? Am I being way too cynical and thinking that they just did that to yeah, open I think the that door? Feels, that feels very cynical. I feel I like feel I'm like... adding too much to that, but I agree with 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 what they're saying that they need to. Address they need to wrap that up. Some yeah, don't, don't let it linger forever. I, I agree. Or make it useful. Like, to have a whole yeah. end of the world, literally everybody dies, and you don't mention this other doctor. Number four is potentially something I can't answer. Maybe you can't answer either. Make it British. Now, I'm, as an huh. American uh, who's a fan of British television, it still feels kind of British to me. So I don't know what is... Uh, um, I mean, maybe the sense of humor isn't always maybe. super British, but I don't know. Someone, our UK listeners can answer this one. To me, yeah, it doesn't feel means. like it's been Americanized. It just feels like it's been, you know, I don't know, made into Generalized, a, a maybe? product. Uh, maybe that's yeah. American about yeah, it. Could be. But it doesn't feel that much different to me than some of the older Doctor Who. And when I say older, I mean new Who. I'm not talking about classic yeah, Who. Yeah, right, right. It doesn't yeah. feel that different. Well, and I also don't think it feels that different than classic Who either, especially the the later era ones. I mean, this sits very well with the like, Sylvester McCoy era. I mean, I don't think I know if anything. people if some of these people that are yelling about death of Doctor Who and you've killed Doctor Who, if like they haven't watched. Uh, oh, wait, was that uh, us? <laughs> Yeah, like they <laughs> they have that? not watched. Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say Twin Dilemma, but I'm trying to think of the Concord oh. like Time Flight. Time flight. Like the fact that <laughs> who is still standing after the like you got to go back and you got to watch the man Colin no run and you got to watch every some... every episode before 2005 is perfect. For right. And you talk about like no Doctor Who not being uh, political. What was the one with the like the gangs of, of girls with the red hair? And it was like oh. anti Margaret Thatcher. 
It was like very yeah, yeah, political. Yeah. Uh, uh, that was a Mel episode too. That was yeah. Uh, it was Tower, um, tower t- of Terror. No, the no, that's something a Tower of Disney. But again, it's that's been this has been Doctor Who forever. Yeah. It's talking about yeah, what's going on. There was like a minor strike at one point, and then there's a minor mining episode. It's fine. That's right. Uh, change unit back into a secretive organization. I agree with you 100. percent I it's too big. It's too it's much. It's way yeah. too big. It's got a huge Avengers style. Maybe that's what they mean by yeah. British. It's very yeah. trying. But Russell T Davies has said, "I want to make it like the MCU." Right? I know I've seen that quote from him, Ooh. where he would start other shows mm. and make it. And maybe I agree with that. I think you should. Yeah, you know, I don't it should like be a either. secretive organization. It should be much more like the Brigadier. Had. But and the maybe, doctor should maybe not less... like them. Like th- that also should be a thing. That was my favorite. Well, the doctor didn't like them because there was a military organization. Yes. I would love it to be a secret protective organization that is not necessarily the military. Right, but I liked the doc. No, I wanted military because I liked okay. the doctor like that, that pointing tension. out the hypocrisy of yeah. the mil. I, what was the episode where the brigadier killed um, that group of aliens? The the people that live in their earth. Like they're like oh, standing uh, for indigenous the people Silurians, that were yeah. the Silurians. Yeah. And there's that one episode yeah. where the brigadier orders like a missile strike and the doctor's right. like, you're a monster. Like right, I right, like right. that. That's that to me is a, a political thing, but I like having, was that, the, was that, that was a Pertwee episode. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was a, yeah, yeah. it was a, I think it might've been his first, was that spearhead from space or one of Maybe. those. It was an early Pertwee. Yeah. And, and you, and you like the brigadier, but the brigadier also represents the worst of humanity yeah, right, sometimes. Right. And I like having that. And so I would especially that I would, would be want great that to still. bring that back in for modern times too. Yes, that'd be really yes. good. Yeah, okay. I agree. Uh, okay. okay, change unit back. Uh, give the show a rest, or alternatively, alternatively have thirteen episode seasons. Okay, I, I, that's two way two vastly different things. Uh, yeah, either give it more episodes been or I'm fine with eight breaks episodes, between but seasons, just write different which, kind of episodes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I would just say if you're going to make a promise, you better pay it off. But yeah. that would be my my main thing. Anyway, yeah, that's I fine. agree. Anyway, those are the ideas. Uh, for the most cool. agreed with a lot of them. Didn't agree with everyone, but I liked being able to talk to. I oh, like the conversation. Best thing, best thing about this reboot, Millie Gibson, which I thought she was. She's she wonderful, was great. and I I'm like so Shudigawa sad that she's not going to well. be staying. But she, I, I, really, I really, I, I really liked her. I, li- I liked uh, Millie Gibson. I am going to be sad to see her go. Um, you know. It's another one of those things like who was another Martha Jones was a mm-hmm. was a one season companion, right? Yes. yes. I yes. She, I feel like she was an underused she came, companion. She re- too. And she recurred, but it's one of those she came things back too. and like, saved oh, the universe. Like what a great character and it's sad just to see them for one season. I feel similarly with Millie. Um yeah. but we'll see what happens. All right. Then I don't know. We had the opposite well, that's fine. I don't know how long we've been going. We've been going we've longer been going than I thought, but I have more feedback. Let's... This goes back to our rogue episode. You okay. and I had said that this is the first time they're introducing, or maybe we had said the uh, Russell T. Davies was the first one to introduce romance, like a romantic doctor or mm. doctor kissing in love. And they say, no, it was actually Paul McGann, which is true. In Fair. The, in the movie, he's married, right? Or he gets married. I guess that's where I his mean, kid came from. Right? Maybe. Well, we have, I forget yeah. about that because she was half human. His wife, well, it's and all he's, fuzzy. but again, he's half human in that too. And Eric Roberts is the father, and Eric Roberts is half human. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I don't, I don't know what we can really take from that. So fair, <laughs> but that's a good point. Good point. Um. Okay. So. Uh. Okay. Some again, a lot of the stuff I'm going to skip because it's a legend of it. Ruby Sunday, and that stuff is no longer worth talking about. <laughs> like people talking about <laughs> with theories, whether or not it? she's been born yet, or right, that, right, 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 about which uh, would be important. Bummer. Um, I thought, okay, this person's writing. This is Rob DW24 is saying that they totally agree. I thought Millie and Shuti were great. I love them, but the story was a mess. Why would mm. Sutek, the god of death, care at all about Ruby's parents? If anything, where the doctor came from and their parents are way more important than Ruby's, it was just dumb. A hundred percent. I think that's a great point. That is a really good point, but... For whatever reason, he decided to set up a mystery girl in the beginning and didn't know how to pay it off at the end. But that is yeah. a much better uh, mystery, I think. Cool. Yep. Agree. Uh, okay. Then we got two comments from – oh, someone su- super angry. It's not worth reading any of your stuff. Cool. 
So I'm going to okay. skip you. Uh, you get But skipped. thank you for participating. Uh, yes. Uh, that's it. I guess that's all I got. I thought I had cool. I had more. Oh, I do have more. I do have oh, more. What else I do saw someone post something on uh, Twitter, which I thought okay. was kind of interesting. So this comes from uh, – they did not write the show. I literally just saw their, their tweet. This okay. comes to us from – I N Instan V Vinder. Okay. The name that rolls uh, off the tongue. Insta- I'm probably saying the name wrong. Uh, okay, but there, this is their Empire of Death analysis thread. I will not read the whole thing, but it has okay. a lot of interesting ideas. Okay. They're calling this essay "We Invest Things with Significance" or "Why Sutech Isn't Sutech but Death Itself." The alternative title to this is "Fear Is the Mind Killer." Now you had me at Dune. So yeah, like, okay, oh, that's okay, why okay. we're reading this. All right, I so they're it. saying I don't think that Sutek has literally been attached to the TARDIS since Pyramids of Mars. I think that the salt at the edge of the universe, the grievous mistake that caused all myths to become a reality, what, right, was what made him appear. And he's not the same character as Sutek the Osarian, a powerful alien that delusionally believed himself to be a god. He is a god. New who <laughs> Sutek is death incarnate. Ergo, this version of Sutek is the literal psychic manifestation of the doctor's deep seated guilt motivated fear of the idea that his oh. arrival brings death wherever he treads. This Man. death anxiety was turned into a physical presence haunting the TARDIS all through the doctor's time stream because of the salt. That's the reason why the doctor didn't spot any Susan twist before Wild Blue Yonder. There are two timelines in Doctor Who. This is the kind of stuff I love. This yeah, is everything I really they're know. writing. Uh, I, well, relative all, time I, and I universe. Know. Okay. Have you have you forwarded this thread to Russell T Davies so he can <laughs> no. take some notes? <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like the, I, I wrote it, back once. Like, this, this is definitely really interesting. It, I don't think it it makes the story necessarily better because they're doing a right. lot of this. But there are two timelines in Doctor Who. Right? There's relative time and universal time. Universal time is the history of the universe. Relative time is how the Doctor experiences it. In yep. universal time, Sutek has supposedly been hitchhiking through the vortex for millennia. In relative time, he has only been doing so since fourteen accidentally invited Miss into the back into the world. Okay, uh, I'm not sure about that, but that makes sense to you. Uh, it goes on. I can't read it. There's a ton of stuff in here, but basically, they're saying that it it makes it uh, their favorite or a, a brilliant episode. I mean, that's that is all. It's a very, um, very here's interesting the thing. idea that uh, I that, love... that it's the manifestation of the doctor's fear. Totally. Because that totally makes great. sense for 73 yards being the manifestation of her fear. And so and, I like yes, that. And, and the doctor also does mention this, you know, the moment that he has with the, with uh, Kate that, you know, he, he brings death and she says he brings joy. I mean, there is that kind of moment. Um yeah, no, I think that that's all really interesting. And I love, you know, I do the same thing of just like, well, what if it actually means this? And I think that's kind of where we, we tripped ourselves up in this season, mm-hmm. um, getting too far ahead of where they're actually going. Um, but I would say you're this person writing this is doing all the work and not well, the show. Uh, right. I, I, but I'm OK with I, I'm OK with this, which person is fine. Doing all the work. It's just I not like part of the show. It's good art art. But the the thing that doesn't work is. The script says, no, it's it this. It doesn't support it. It right, doesn't support it. Yeah. No, but the script says, no, it's because she's regular. Like, if the script never yeah. said, no, it's because she's regular, then you would have, like, a yes. thesis like this, and you could it could work It's like you. you had said before. If they had just said, I don't know, and just let it be a mystery Yeah, let it while, be a mystery. Or this would have been fine. Don't explain it with such a yeah, – I thought it was interesting. That's cool. Uh, yeah. Cool. That's it. That's it. We went you, longer folks. than I thought. Thank you, folks. Yeah, I mean, this was super fun. Um. But let's let's never do a show. Let's never do it again. again. Although yours, although yours, your solo episodes were fucking great. Um, I will say, uh, please keep the conversation going. Um, below in the comments, this has been a lot of fun. Even if we don't agree with you, uh, at least people are talking. Yeah, and thank you for and like so and subscribe. And I guess we will see you again. And tell your friends at some point to review the last big finish, Suntarns versus the Rootins. Don't yeah, forget, we did three of the four. I think that's we'll do that sometime out. soon. Yeah, cool. All right, all right. Bye. Oh, thanks everybody. Uh, pre-order oh. Wolf in the Well. Uh, there's only like two oh, weeks yes. till it comes out. Uh, go to wherever your favorite bookstore, favorite library, Goblin, The Wolf in the Well. I could use your help. Thank you. Or show up at Eric's house and he'll give you a copy uh, too. Yeah. So his yeah. address is. If you're in uh, Homedale, New Jersey on uh, July 16th, I'll be signing copies at the Barnes and Noble.